how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Just remember, please support the channel. You know, super chats, super thanks, tips, and yes, legit memberships and legit gifted memberships all help, and I still need that. Like, right now, I'm actually way slow on support this month, and it's not your fault. It's because ad revenue this month is terrible. In January, ad revenue is the worst of all year, but then on top of that, there's the fact that there have been no major new releases this month, so my usual crowd of newcomers who would come in or people who come just to watch the new releases, they're not here yet. They'll probably be here next Friday, but they're not here yet. They haven't been watching the stuff. The views are down this month because I'm doing these longer playthroughs and stuff. Wah, I'm not making ad revenue. Wah. With nothing really new right now. And then in addition to that, we got this member issue going on. So there's likely some people who maybe would have come and gifted memberships or whatever, and they came in and said, oh, look, Phil's fine. He has a ton of memberships, and then probably did, you know, ditched, and maybe they'll come back later, but that's the problem with this kind of stuff, okay? Um, I, I'm absolutely sure that in the hater detractor circles, they were dancing for joy, because they're hoping to get any little piece of information about my life that they can then use for something new for them. Keep in mind that the moment that anything happens involving me, they get content, and they make money on it. So it's like a field day for them. If Phil's really doing a documentary, every t piece of information that comes out about this documentary is going to become content for them. So this is great because they don't have to work anymore. They're just going to sit back and they're just going to re relax and they're going to enjoy and they're going to revel in it and they're going to get every moment of it, right? The documentary is canceled. All right? And I'm going to tell you why. Because there's a few major factors involved in this decision. All right? And it was not an easy decision to make because I've been working on this for months with Mike and we've been going back and forth about stuff. And it was a tough one, all right? But allow me to explain what's actually going on, all right? So, number one, to do a documentary like this is going to be incredibly time-consuming. I'm talking weeks of work, likely away from being here and streaming with you guys, or really broken schedules and messed up stuff, right? So, for example, entire days of filming, that I'm not streaming at all, a day where my schedule's way off and I'm doing kind of a half stream and I'm running around. We're talking time, uh, days I probably wouldn't even see my wife because I'd be so busy, right? And again, not just filming here, but also filming, I'm having to travel and go around to do this filming and stuff like that. Ultimate laziness. So just that number one, that's a big endeavor. And by the way, that's not the reason why I'm coming to this decision, but it's a factor in it, okay? Um, but basically, there's so many other factors going on. Some of these you guys know and some of you don't. Like, for example, I've got personal stuff going on behind the scenes in my life that none of you have any idea about, all right? You just don't, because I don't share a lot of my personal stuff with you guys. You, as you know, over the last year, there's been a few t days where I've told you guys things are going on. I'm just, I'm not in the right mindset or I'm not feeling well because of stuff, and that stuff's ongoing. So already, I'm kind of already at a limit of kind of stress in my life right now with that stuff going on, um, and that really sucks. All right, and let me let me also put it this way, okay? <clears throat> In order for this documentary to work, it would need to be even-sided, right? So you need to have an equal level of good and bad, balanced. What's happened is, since the word of the documentary hit the internet, there's 98% of the interest is the toxic negative. Everyone who hates me wants to be a part of this thing or have input in it so they can slam me and make me look terrible just like they do on a daily basis for personal gain on YouTube, right? So that's where the interest lies. My viewers and my fans and those who actually like me have reached out to me over the last several weeks. And some of you, I want to appreciate every one of you who reached out to me and gave me your true feelings about this, all right? I had people who I haven't heard from in years reach out to me and say, don't do this documentary. That basically, this is not going to work. That's just going to end up being a field day for people to bring up old shit that I've grown out of, but act like it just happened, right? 
And there's other people also who basically are like, you know, I'd like to be a part of this. Like, I'd like to, to, to support you as a fan, but how could we viably do that? And, I mean, you're talking about, like, for example, let's say we wanted to have a fan of mine be a part of this documentary. Well, you don't want to give up their identity because trolls actually harass my fans if they can. They've doxxed them. They've messed with their personal lives. So what are we going to do? Like, create an identity protection situation where we have to black their face out and voice change them and film them in a dark room and just to have a fan of mine talk positively about me? Right? <laughs> I like how you're laughing, too. <laughs> well, it's funny. Like, how crazy is that? We really think about it. And... You know, I want to say thank you because, again, there were a few people who I was working with to get, basically be kind of those people. And I appreciate that a couple people did step up and said they actually would do it. But do I really want to put people through that? Because, again, what you guys got to understand here is this is not just about me anymore. But if I were younger, if this were me back in Connecticut, in my condo in Connecticut, and the documentary was being made about me, it's just about me. Who cares, right? But now I'm older, I'm more mature, and I realize that this affects everyone. DSP cult leader. So yeah, it is. It's a cult. It's 100% this is a cult. Right? If you've got every person on the internet talking again about me in a negative drama way, it's going to affect everyone again. Right? And right now we're in a situation where I'm really stressed out already. I'm also incredibly busy. You know, not only am I running DSP Gaming, but now I've got this new project with DSP Throwback that was already in the works and going, right? And now that's that's hitting full swing with its first stream and everything, and i got to be focusing somewhat on that. I'm still maintaining the React show every week, once a week, and I'm trying to find new content for that. In fact, we need to start talking about the Super Bowl event tomorrow to start planning it. Um, <clears throat> and then on top of all of that, my wife has finally made the decision to come back into my content. And Kat now has been here on two streams, which have been awesome. And now we're trying to plan out the content where she can do co-op gameplay and commentary with me. And that's a lot of work, too, to figure that all out, right? <clears throat> so it's kind of like we got all this stuff going on already. And now it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, now we got a plan to have all this time away from work so I could film and I can do this and I got to travel to do this and that. And then on top of all of that, just so you guys know, there is one other factor that just happened this week. And I'm not going to tell you guys about it right now. Maybe eventually I would bring it up, but I'm not going to right now. But there was another huge determining factor that just happened. Oh, yeah, I got him. I can't. Wow, finally. Pull the gotcha. Pull on my gotcha. And that was basically the straw that broke the camel's back, as they say. And I was like, I just can't do this. All right. So just to make this official, all right, it is canceled. It's not, oh, it's delayed or whatever. The documentary is canceled. All right. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't do something like this again or consider doing it again in the future. I'm saying right now, this is not the time, the climate, or the level of stress to really be taking on a project like this, okay? It's not. Definitely things could change, maybe, right? In the future, perhaps. If things get better, if, you know, if the stress level lowers, if my time frees up a little bit more, right? But basically, I'm in a situation... Here, here's the, the truth of the matter here, is that this is a big gamble. Think of it this way. Let's say that I did this documentary, right? And it went really well. All of a sudden, there's a fair, balanced way to look at me. And all of a sudden, a bunch of new people are exposed to my content. And they come over to the channel. And our community grows. And it's better for the business and for everything. That could happen. It's delusion. It's actual egotistical delusion. Right? It could. But the thing is, it could. It's not a guarantee. It could very well go the other way. It could go the other way that I do this documentary... And again, some of these old things, things about my past that are not me anymore, but you're talking about, you know, things from my Street Fighter days, things from my early days of YouTube, shit that doesn't apply to me in 2024, but things that people are only just hearing about for the very first time. And now they become an emphasis for certain people, and now people, oh, that's that guy who did that 20 years ago, right? Or this or that. And that could be really bad for us all, right? It could put us in a worse light as a community. Not just me, but it could put us in a worse light as a community, together. And that is a risk that right now I'm not willing to take. That my sins of the past are somehow going to rub off on us in 2024 and make us all be treated like dirt, right? Oh my god, he's drinking wheelchair donations. And there is also one other thing. Alright? I feel like this documentary, because I told you guys this when I started talking about it a couple weeks ago, I said this documentary would be the one. And what I meant about that is that this would be the one thing I do. That if I did this documentary, this would be it. I'm not going to do a second documentary in five more years. 
I'm not going to do a ton more interviews and all this shit. This is it. This is the one big project, right? That's going to encompass all of me, my history, who I am yesterday, today, how I've evolved and all of that, right? All together. And I'm not sure that we're at the point that we're ready for that yet. Like I've said, I'm 41 years old, but I'm not going anywhere. Unlike all these other YouTubers who all of a sudden have decided together that they want to not do YouTube anymore. Oh, I can't take it anymore. The stress and all these years of doing it, I, I gotta quit. Well, no, you're quitting because you're rich. In one way or another, I'll probably be working till I'm dead. And I've, I've kind of accepted that, that, that reality. I'm not like a normal person who's working a career, who's building up retirement fund money, and one day I could sit back in a lawn chair sipping a Mai Tai and live out my golden years in peace. It's never going to happen. Ass man, Timmy, $3.33 says, why would you sign off on a documentary if you thought it might hurt you in the future? You should just do your own. But again, the documentary didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't sign off. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I didn't sign off. There's no, the documentary is, doesn't exist. I don't know what you mean. You guys are acting like there's a giant you know, legal contract agreement and we did all this work and everything and now it's dumb. That didn't even happen. I don't know. So I don't know what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it, we're in the initial stages of, of planning this thing out, right? We didn't even schedule filming times yet. As I told you, you guys would know when we scheduled filming times because it was going to affect these streams. So I was going to tell you when that was going to happen. That didn't even happen yet, right? <laughs> Oh my god, he's drinking piss. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. He's, he's a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone, just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>